What's up guys, Kidmar95 here bringing you another episode. In today's episode guys, we have a technical analysis on Request Network here. Pretty much our decentralized PayPal here. Currently up 2% for the day, sitting at uh, 29 cents. But really quick though guys, before we take a look at Request Network, let's go ahead and run through the market. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, market cap sitting at 472 billion, almost um, back up to 500 billion. Today's volume, oh there we go, we went up 2 billion yesterday. We were sitting at 15 billion, now we're sitting at 17 billion. Bitcoin dominant sitting at 41.1. Bitcoin st still can't break through that 11,000 resistance, but it's, it looks like we're about to. Currently up almost 3% for the day. Ethereum up almost a percent and a half, sitting at 865. The big one here, guys, Ripple up almost 18%, sitting at $1.07. Litecoin up 2. Cardano up 8. Neo down 2. Lumens up 11. EOS up uh, 3. Monero up 4. IOTA up 0.10. Dash is up almost 3. If you guys can get Dash under 700, I would. This is a steal in my opinion. Let's see, Tron down almost 4%, VeChain up 3, Qtum up 5, Lisk up almost 1, Omisi Go up almost 2, Steam up 2, Stratus up almost 5, Verge up almost 2, Verge is a steal, Stratus is a steal, Sia Coins is a steal. What else is a steal? Who are the big winners today? Let's see. Particle, Status, Ripple, there you go. Who are the big losers? Dang, you're still down here. This one's like, it's, it's been like three days, maybe four days now that Icon, Economy, right? Yeah, Economy has been, you know, the big loser. But it did have a pretty big jump, so. But you guys came here for some request network price action. Market kept sitting at 187 million. Today's volume, 3.1 million. Circulating supply, 641 million. Total supply, 999 million. Major exchanges here, guys. Looks like it's Binance, Hyobi, Qcoin. Bancor Network and OKEX. Really quick, let's go ahead and take a look at their website before we dive into some price action since it's been a while since I've been in their website. Let's go straight to the roadmap because I feel like that's the important stuff. Let me go ahead and sip some of my coffee. So we're currently in quarter one of 2018, which is right here. Oh, that's so good. So let's see what they got planned here for uh, quarter one 2018. The first iteration of request working with Ethereum on the mainnet, deploying, deployment of management cryptocurrencies to request e ERC-20 tokens, working on partnerships with accounting, payment, and audit firms, nice. Launching the pay request project and online button, which will offer an alternative to the traditional pay with PayPal and pay with credit cards. So watch out PayPal and watch out credit card. Request network is coming for you. Outside audits of the request contracts, proof of concept, request core working with Bitcoin, quarter two guys, Proof of concept privacy using uh, ZK's, NARCs, adding, oh cool, so they're going to be adding some fiat currencies, USD, Euro, and the Chinese yuan. Launching and request and request and transparency project. We will work with city halls, associations, and governments to publish real-time information on their budget. If you guys can get the government on your side, you know, probably you're probably going to be around here for a bit. Organize discussion groups around payment requests with institutions such as World Bank, IMF, ECB, and UN. Quarter 3 here, which is called Coliseum. Deploy the escrow extension to allow the release of funds upon delivery or upon satisfaction of other conditions. Deploy the tax extension to automatically pay taxes in real time. Wow, that's pretty cool. Deploy the down payment extension to specify an amount to pay and a specific day on which to process, so like automatic payment. And for those of you that don't know, make sure you guys download the Incent extension, earn cryptocurrency, doing you know pretty much whatever you're already doing. Watching a video, typing a blog, just being online. As you saw, I just earned a little bit. I don't know what I'm up to, but... Eddy reputation to off lane chair or off chain layer and quarter four, which is uh, 2018 and after, what do they call this? Request Petra. Deploy government system vote and token chat. Launching the Internet of Things fr uh, framework project. Deploy intercurrency settlement through e request token to facilitate international payments. And launching the continuous payment extension, which will act as down payment with infinity of micro payments. Cool. So eventually it seems like you'll be able to buy a house through request. That's pretty cool. But you guys came here for some price action. Let's go ahead and look at Bitcoins really quick. Let's get rid of all this mess just so we can look at a little bit of price action. Ugh, I keep having a burp in my videos. I think it's probably the coffee I drink or I don't know. Something. I need to figure it out though. So we had a pretty nice little retracement guys yesterday all the way down to 11,000 and then we pushed all the way up and closed just below 11,500. Wait till we get that break and close above 11,750 and Bitcoin should be good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 4-hour really quick before we move on to something else. 
yeah, a break and close above 11,700 and Bitcoin should be good. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum. Still, you know, still doing the same thing here, consolidating. I think it's waiting for Bitcoin to make its move. Uh, I feel like either, as you can tell, momentum definitely building up. Um, Bitcoin's gonna make a little small retracement, and then the altcoins are gonna take off, or Bitcoin's gonna take off, and altcoins are gonna shortly follow right after. But I feel like a lot of people could be moving their Bitcoin profits, or maybe now people know, hey, Bitcoin's a long-term hold, you know, and maybe they're just gonna be, um, it's just gonna be a, a whole cryptocurrency market bull run again. But we're gonna have to wait and see. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum's four hour here really quick. Wait for that break and close, guys, above 870, and Ethereum should be good to go. Litecoin been struggling here, guys. Look at all this consolidation. Nice little double bottom here, however. Looks like we have a nice little triangle getting ready to break out. Oh, or I forgot that I did that, but here, let me just show you my little triangle that I'm seeing. Here and here. I know I have a, actually, let me just delete this line. We don't need this one anymore. And then we don't need this one anymore. Nice little triangle there, guys, for Litecoin. So it could be a huge breakout here. I wouldn't add to your position so we get a break and close above 215. But remember, guys, it's just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. So request USD, guys. Brokers, Binance here. So the platform we're using is TradingView. All-time high here for request USD is about $1.25, according to Binance and TradingView. Major resistance, there's a couple of them. <laughs> at a dollar, we have another one here at 85 cents, and then one at 70 cents, one at 54, one at 40 cents, and then we're currently in the in this nice little triangle, and we can't seem to break and close above 32 cents, so we're waiting for that break and close above 32 cents here on the request network. Nice little triangle as well. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Let's go ahead and look at the four hours, see what the four hours showing us. What was, uh, that water bottle what was that pop so as you guys can tell really 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 struggling to break right here so that's what we're waiting for I'm expecting I'm gonna take my little paintbrush probably just gonna be consolidating here for a bit maybe come down here form a nice little uh, double bottom or a nice little inverse head and shoulders and then we could be heading towards the upside. If you're looking to buy request on network, guys, I wouldn't add to your position or, you know, first time buy until we break and close above 32 cents. Remember, this is just my personal opinion, guys. I'm not a financial advisor. Where do I see request network going in 2018, guys? I think request network can easily be, I think I've marked it down as a $2 coin here towards the end of 2018. Yeah, $2 coin here towards the end of 2018. But remember, guys, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to re-steam. Comment down below what kind of coins you guys are trying to see. And give this video an upvote. You guys are on YouTube. You guys need to jump over to Steam it because you guys are missing out. But if you're going to stay on YouTube, make sure you guys are subscribed. Turn on post notifications. And you give this video a thumbs up. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Peace.